Okay, gang, welcome to session zero. Have you picked your classes? What the fuck is this? I thought we were playing Fortnite. What the fuck, Ben? Why are we in your basement? Look, guys, I had to be the one to tell you this. You both suck at video games. Come on, man, that's bullshit. It's true, Joe. Everyone tells me this. I constantly own your ass. You're no better than him, Trump. Honestly, gang, it's cringe watching either of you. The Collective Mind Hive have put it to a vote. From now on, you're both confined to my basement. And we're going to play Dungeons and Dragons. Who the fuck put the dog chew toy in charge? Listen, all right. Facts don't care about your feelings. We're playing D&D, and that's that. Now, what classes are you going to play? I believe in universal health care, so I should be a healer of the people. That's called a cleric. You believe in stealing from the people. You should be a fucking rogue. Fuck you, Donald. Okay, so Biden will be a cleric. What about you? People tell me I'm the greatest fighter ever. Sue, so you're going with fighter? Biggest thing he ever fought is his waistband. At least I know how to walk up a flight of stairs. So, fighter then. Okay, gang, you have your classes. Now, what race are you? I believe every race is equal and should be treated as such. Okay, but what race are you going with? All of them. That's not how it works. You need to pick one. All equal. All of them. Okay, we'll put a pin in that. What about you? Can I be Jewish? This may have been a mistake. We'll work out your races and issues later. For now, let's begin. You are in the land of Aseroth. There have been reports of a goblin horde attacking the local farmers. You have been summoned by the king of the capital to remove these monsters. After journeying from your homes, you both arrive at a tavern on the outskirts of the capital. What do you do? Do I have any weapons on me? Yes, you have your great axe. Uh, I cut off Sleepy Joe's head. I jump out the way, motherfucker. Okay, Donald, roll to attack. Joe, roll a dexterity saving throw. Fifteen. I got a four. So, Donald swings his great axe at Joe, but misses as Joe, taking a step back, trips up a flight of stairs and rolls to the top. Nailed it. Just as you get up, Joe, you see the door of the tavern burst open and five goblins come running in, swords raised in the air. I offer them affordable housing and, and Medicare for life if they take out that fucktard with the axe. Oh, fuck you, Bidenator. I tell them, if they help me take out the hair-sniffing cleric, I'll give them a chance of being great like me. Looks okay, like guys, the votes are in and the goblins will be attacking Joe. That's because they recognize greatness when they see it. More like they recognize that shit stack of a hairpiece on your head would put up a bigger fight than you and choose to attack the healer of the people. Who wrote that comeback for you? I write all my own lines, dickhead. Pause for laughter. We're getting off subject. Joe, the goblins decide that the fighter is not worth their trouble right now and begin charging up the stairs towards you. What do you do? I speak to the goblins, my fellow creatures of the world of ass, the sloth. Azeroth. That's what I said, ass to mouth. Goblins, hear my words, man. I'm just like you. We should be working together to strategize and mobilize. The goblins get closer with their swords brandished, grins spreading across their faces. One speaks in common tongue. We'll make short work of this one. Do you have any more words to speak, Joe? You see, I'm just like you, man. We can learn to get along. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to do the you think the thing with you know and besides that's not the problem someone forgot to take his pills today joe if you're done i need you to roll a persuasion check but with disadvantage okay fine i got a 12 and uh, a 9 the goblin at the front of the group raises his sword high in the air and prepares to strike you down wait i've decided my race is going to be goblin are you fucking kidding me i'll allow it the goblin swings his sword down and at the last moment realizes you are just like him and stops just short of your face i cast sacred flame in his fucking face the goblin howls in pain as flames erupt into his face, causing him to fall backwards into the rest of the group. They tumble down the stairs, landing in front of Donald. As they open their eyes, he is the first thing they see and decide to attack him. I swing at the nearest little shit. Roll to attack. Oh, fucking yeah, I got a nat 20, bitch. You cleave the goblin nearest to you, severing its head clean off, which flings back and hits the burnt goblin in the face, dealing just enough damage combined with Joe's attack to finish it off. The headless body flails about for a moment and crumples to the floor. I turn to the rest of the goblins. You should have sided with me. Now be ready to get fucking owned. Who's your daddy? I just threw up in my mouth. Donald, I'm only ever going to say this once. Don't ever say that again. The remaining three goblins look between the two of you and at each other. They seem to be weighing up their options. One says something in Gookliak to the other, but even though you're one of them, Joe, you don't hear what they say. Another pulls out a horn and blows into it. You hear a rumble in the distance, getting closer and the sounds of a roar echoing. The three remaining run out the door, cackling as they do. I hate to say it, but we might have to work together, fucktard. There's no way I'm working with you alone, dipshit. I thought this would happen, so I called in a favor of a few others to come join in. Who did you get? Looks like we got here just in time. Who's ready to get fucking wild? What the fuck is this? You brought Joe Rogan to this game? 
Sorry we're late, Ben. Joe was sharing some dope green and we had to stop and get snacks. And the fucking Canadian? Hey man, don't be ruining my buzz. We're all just particles of dust on an endless cycle of breezes. There was one more, but he's running late. Nah, he's here. He's just taking a shit. Come on, man. Who else did you drag into this? What's up, bitches? Who's ready for some fucking D&D? Okay, so... Okay, gang. Whatever is heading this way is drawing closer. Are you all ready? Oh, man. I'm tripping balls right now. What the fuck did you give him, Rogan? I'll need to check my stash. Hang on a second. Let's see. I got speed, ivermectin, shrooms, pot, bit of powder snow, hash, some blue shit they used in Breaking Bad. That crystal blue persuasion is mine, Rogan. Don't go giving that out. Is he going to be able to handle this monster in his state? What even are monsters? It's like you battle the internal beast within and must learn to control it should you wish to be a functioning member of society. You know, how do we fight each other when we're too busy fighting with ourselves, man? I mean, have you even cleaned your room? How do you expect to clear the danger out there when you haven't even cleaned your jizz-stained sock from two days ago? And what even is time? Oh, okay, he got into some of my signature blend mix. I call it the nut-fuck combo. He'll be all right. Jordan, eat your plate of meat. Guys, let's not worry about Jordan right now. You have far bigger concerns, like the danger the goblin summoned that is fast approaching the tavern. That you're all inside of. Who gives a shit? I'll take care of it. Ask anyone, they'll tell you. I can handle any problem. Donald, I don't think you should be going this solo. You haven't been relevant for years, Barack. No one cares what you have to say. I, I care what you have to say? Shut up, Joe. On second thought, go for it. I'm sure you'll do just fine. Dibs on his ax. We're going to start focusing up. I want you to immerse yourselves into the world of Azeroth. We'll start by each of you introducing yourselves. Barack, you go first. I am Batista Mornshield, a human paladin that takes the oath of the crown. My name is Arataz Trafaris. I am a half-elf wizard and my arcane tradition is chronergy magic. I am a goblin cleric. My name is Armand Nokraz and I choose the life domain for my subclass. You see standing before you a seven-foot goliath by the name of Boudicca, the barbarian prince. Are we allowing multi-class? I will allow it if you can explain it well. Bitching, I am barbarian and druid. Being the prince of my nation, I was taught in the ways of, of fighting like animals, and so I spent my childhood living among bears. The land I grew up in is hostile, and I needed to prove I could protect my followers. What are your circle and path choices? Circle of the Moon, and I choose Path of the Totem Warrior for Barbarian. I am Cramond Bloodsword. I'm the greatest fighter in all of Azeroth. It's true, don't hate the great. I'm a mighty 12-foot min-maxed motherfucker of a giant with a subclass of ass-kicking. I need an actual subclass, Trump. Fine then, Squeaker. I'll take Battlemaster because I'm a master of all things. Who's your... Don't say it. Daddy. I warned you already, Donald. Never to say that again. Just for that, you're not a giant. You're a hill dwarf. But what the actual fuck? DM privilege, deal with it. Now you all know who and what you are, so you step outside. As you stand in front of the tavern, you prepare yourselves for what lays ahead of you. The sky darkens, and you hear a distant rumble of thunder. Then you see it. Is that Rosie O'Donnell? No, it's something worse. Standing before you is a large Tyrannosaurus Rex. Its teeth are bared and it watches you all with piercing eyes. You notice it has a saddle strapped to it. Sitting atop of the Rex is what appears to be a goblin of sorts, different from the ones you faced earlier. She looks down on you with a wide, evil smile and says, Hello, boys. Well, isn't this a sausage fest? Which of you killed my goblins? Well, there you go, Donald. You wanted to do this solo? Have at it, man. You've got this. For the first time in your life, Joe, you're right. Okay, bitch, let's dance. We got 20 on the dinosaur. I'll take some of that action. Okay, gang, roll for initiative. I got 10. 14. 7. 19. I got, oh shit, I got a 2. The chief goblin got 5. This game is fucking rigged. Prepare to die. You're about to be beaten harder than 2016. I am the greatest. My power is maximum. Gotcha, bitch. Ooh. 
He truly is the greatest of us all. What a guy. He should be president. Trump, 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 Trump wake the fuck up. <laughs> what? What's going on? It's your turn, Donald. You fell asleep waiting for everyone else to have their turn. About fucking time. Right, step aside, boys, as I rip this bitch a new asshole. That's going to be a bit difficult, Donald. Yeah, what's stopping me? I'm the greatest fighter of all of Azeroth. You're in the jaws of the Rex. What the fuck? What did I miss? Armin, the cleric, cast Guiding Bolt, directing at the T-Rex. The paladin Batista casts Bless on himself, Eratas the wizard, and Boudica the barbarian, who uses wild shape to transform into a bear. He charges at the T-Rex and goes toe to toe, delivering blows with his mighty paws. Jordan then spent 20 minutes talking about lobsters, so we held his action. The T-Rex swings its large tail and knocks the bear out of the way as it lowers its head and runs straight at you. It picks you up in its jaws and bites down. You are grappled and I need either a strength or dexterity saving throw from you in order to escape. Dice, don't fail me now. 18, let's fucking go. You have been successful in becoming ungrappled. However, the T-Rex was flinging you about like a rag doll at the time and you are hurled through the air, slamming into the wall of the tavern and slumping into the mud face down. Uh... You'll need to use half your speed to get back up and you took 12 bludgeoning damage. I stand back up, facing the repulsive-looking monster and the T-Rex it sits on. I look her dead in the eye. Now it's my turn, bitch! With my great axe in hand, I run at the T-Rex, using a superiority die and the bless from Barak, I swing at its fucking ankles, power sliding as I do. You already used your action, Donald, to get out of the grapple. And you used half your movement speed just getting back up. The most I can allow is you got up and ran halfway towards the T-Rex, stopping about 15 feet from it. Anyone ever tell you you're a fucking Killjoy Shapiro? Peterson, bro, help a guy out here. You haven't had your turn yet. Stop this hippie trippy bullshit and cast some fucking magic already. I cast this guy's self a giant lobster. We're all going to die. Joe, it's your turn. I cast statutory on the Tyrex. Do you, do you mean sanctuary? Yeah, let's take this fucker out, man. Wait, what? You do realize, Joe, that that spell... Shut the fuck up, man. I'm tired of people thinking, I don't know what I'm doing. I cast... Damn it, Joe. Stop. Sanctuary on the fucking T-Rex. Okay, you cast Sanctuary on the T-Rex for the next minute. If any one of you attempts to attack the T-Rex, you must succeed on a wisdom saving throw, fail, and you either direct the attack at a new target or lose the attack. Are you fucking joking? And the Bidenator strikes again. I can't believe I'm going to have to bail your ass out again, Joe. Come on, man. Okay. So just let me get this straight. If we fail our wisdom saving throws, we have to pick a new target or lose our attack. So we simply just attack the chief goblin, right? That's not so bad, I guess. Might even be a positive if we take out the rider, then perhaps one of us could control it. Rogan, your character is good with animals, right? Do you think you could tame it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. My character spent his life around dangerous beasts, so this shouldn't be too much of a difference. Okay, so if we focus our attacks on the Chief Goblin instead of the Rex, we bypass Joe's Sanctuary spell. Eventually it'll need to make an at... Hold on, Ben. But why hasn't the Chief had any turns? I'm glad you asked, Barack. You see, for this scenario, the Rex and Goblin are one and the same enemy. I've just been choosing to focus on what the Rex does, and you can imagine that the Chief is controlling its actions. Shit. So we either attack and risk failing, or we don't attack. Losing what advantage we could have had. Good fucking going, Joe. Thanks, Barack. Well, if I have to attack another creature, guess who I'm coming for, Mr. Squishy Cleric? That's not an option, right, Ben? Well, technically, he can target you, Joe. You did sort of give him an open opportunity with your blunder. Your HP is pretty abysmal, so a hit from any of these guys could take you out. I would pray to your character's god that they succeed their wisdom throws. Can we get on with this already? Barack, it's your turn. I run at the T-Rex and attempt to stab it with my longsword. I get an 18 on my wisdom saving throw and a gnat fucking 20 on my attack. You stab into the T-Rex and it howls in pain, thrashing about as it does. While it's distracted, I attack it from behind. Shit, I got a gnat one on my wisdom throw. As it's a gnat one, I'm not going to allow you to not attack. You'll need to choose a new target to hit. Is it cool with you if I roll a dice for a random target? Yeah, use a D4, use the initiative table with number one at the top. That's another one. Sorry, dude, I use bite and claws on Armin the Cleric. Wait, what? I'm so happy right now. The damage dealt to you, Joe, by the bear has knocked you unconscious. You fall to the floor in a crumpled heap. Yay. Jordan, you could have helped Rogan out there. Lobsters do not concern themselves with land dwellers. Okay, I'm getting tired of this shit. Either sober the fuck up or someone kill him off. I cast Magic Hand, 
and use it to give Barack the finger. The T-Rex uses its tail again, this time at Batista. What's your AC, Barack? 19. Yeah, it smashes you across the body, dealing 24 damage. And I'm down. Great going, fellow spellcasters. I'm going to go smoke a fat one and be back just in time for the TPK. Ah, thanks, Barack. That means a lot. Can I join? Fuck you, Joe. Now for the second attack. It makes to bite Kramer the fighter, but doesn't get a high enough roll to hit. Thank fuck. I'm nearly dead as it is. Now that the T-Rex has attacked, Sanctuary no longer applies. It's on you now, Donald. Now I can fucking shine. I sweep the legs. What's your attack? All you haters can suck my pair of hairy oranges. I got a nat 20. My power is maximum. You hack at the Rex's legs, taking a large chunk out of its left one. It stumbles around in agony. The goblin chief looks down at you, a cold fury in her eyes. She screeches in anger. Okay, Joe, I need a death saving throw from you. Roll a plain d20. I I got nine. He fails at saving throws like he fails at saving this country. Fuck you, Donald. That's one fail for Joe. Barack's not back yet, so it's on you, Rogan. Right, I'm done with this bullshit. I'm going into a fucking rage. I take the Rex on with my mighty bear claws and rip its fucking flesh with a bite attack. The T-Rex is looking rough. Your bite and claw marks are clearly visible on its body and you see fast dripping blood where the wounds are deep. Fucking A, you got this, Jordan. Don't fuck it up. Are you with us, Peterson? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I cast Firebolt at the Goblin Chief. Your Firebolt hits her directly in the face and she screams in pain. Her face blackened and burnt. She begins shouting. You misogynistic, self-righteous piece of shit. I'll fucking kill you for ruining my perfect face. Bill, eat that fucking asshole now. Hurry up or so help me, I'll finish you myself. The T-Rex roars in response and charges at the wizard. Jaw open wide. It goes to bite. Did it just pass me and Rogan? Opportunity Opportunity attack. attack. Oh shit, yeah. What are your rolls? 17 to hit. 22 to hit. You both catch the back of its legs as it moves past you. The damage dealt between you causes its legs to buckle and it falls forward straight at the wizard. Jordan, I need a dexterity saving throw from you. I got a five. But wait, using chronal shift as a reaction, I re-roll my saving throw. Oh, shit, it's a nat one. The Rex falls into you and then the tavern, crushing your body under its weight. Just as it hits, the chief goblin jumps off and in midair throws several small items at both the bear and fighter. Both of you roll dexterity saving throws. I got 11. I got 19. Bring it on. They explode on impact, covering both your faces in black soot, obscuring your vision. When you finished clearing your eyes, you see her a long distance away, heading into a forest. Joe, Barack, I need your remainder death-saving throws. Jordan, the weight of the wrecks and the rubble from the tavern have outright killed your character. Oh, I like like, being a lobster. How the fuck does a 19 not count as a success? Are you fucking railroading us? Calm down, Donald. Guys, I need your save. No, frankly, Ben, you suck. We've had enough of the squeaker. It's time for a new DM. Yeah, I actually agree with Donald. I was finally the lobster I always wanted to be. And you took that away from me. I want a BM that's not going to question me. Don't you mean DM? There, you see. You could have done things better, Ben. I say we vote on a new DM. Okay, fine. I'll make a call and get someone else to come over. Can I get a ride home, Ben? I'm coming down pretty hard and need to get some sleep. Okay, get... Guys, Ben's been in a car crash. What? I can't find it online. Where did you see this, Joe? Right here. A guy named Clone broke the news. Joe, that's not a news channel. That's a YouTube personality. It's just fiction. But it's got thousands of views and everyone really likes it. It must be true. Ben hasn't been in a car crash. He's dropping Peterson off and will be back soon enough, possibly with the new DM. Oh man, it all looks so real. How are you supposed to tell the difference? I know, right? It's fucking crazy, dude. Someone has done videos about me interviewing Dragon Ball characters. It looks dope as shit. It would be awesome to drop some LSD with Goku and talk about our existence on a spiritual level. BTW, I've got some kick-ass mushrooms from Russell Brand if you boys want to party. Maybe later, Rogan, right now, I'm trying to brush up on some rules. We don't know who our next DM will be, and I want us to be ready for what comes next. Anyone know where Donald has gone? Something about making an important phone call or speech or maximum bullshit. I don't know. I kind of tune them out after the first few words. That's right. Send her the next check. The usual amount with kisses and a wink, wink. Okay, I got to go. What's up, losers? The new DM not here yet? Barack. Why are you wasting time reading that? 
I already know everything there is to know about this game. Just follow my lead. I think having more than one of us clued up on the rules will benefit the party. Nah, fuck that. We just go balls deep into any situation. Throw caution to the wind. Then if it does go sideways, just pay them off. Does that work? Every single time. As solid as your real life contingencies are, I'm still going to read up on this. Whatever, nerd. Sounds like they're here. Hey gang, Alex has agreed to help out his DM. He doesn't know the game all that well, but has some ideas for the story. It's more than just ideas, Ben. I'm about to take you fellas into the far reaches of the unknown. If you thought what I already know was wild, it's nothing compared to what's waiting for you out there. Perfect, dude. The shrooms are just kicking in, so I'm down for whatever you throw at us. Let's get fucking wild, Jones. You guys have barely touched the surface of what's going on. You were lucky Chief Goblin Clinton was only the beginning of the master plan that's taking place right under your noses. Are you joining us, Ben? That's right. I'm going to be an elf bard known as Volantis. An elf? Didn't we already have one of those? Yeah, but uh, he got crushed by Bill the T-Rex. Shouldn't we have something else instead of an elf? For diversity reasons, which I'm all in favor of. Did you know my vice president is black and a woman? Oh, really, Joe? You don't say. I'm serious, Barack. She really is a woman. I sniffed her hair and my nose knows these things. Creepy shit aside, but I agree with the Bidenator. Ben, you should be something else. And you know what? I have just the answer. Where does he think he's going in my house? I saw this as I was wandering the house while on the phone. I think it's your size, Squeaker. Ben's gonna be a Playboy bunny? No fucking way am I wearing that. Besides, there's no race that that would go with. Actually, Ben, there is. It's called a hair gun. I like rabbits. Of course you do, Lenny. Just don't go touching this one. I say, if we're going to have Shapiro with us, he can be taken down a peg. Sounds good, right? Sure, why the fuck not? This could be fun. I'll go along with this. Alex, come on. You must agree. As I'm the player here, I get to decide what race I am? I would, Ben. However, after looking over your notes, you've allowed Joe to be a goblin mid-combat and you change Donald's giant to a dwarf. So I'd say, I'm going with the party on this. This is totally asinine. Get in the bunny costume. I should have stayed at Peterson's. Okay, guys. The fight with the Chief Goblin Clinton and her pet T-Rex bill has ended. The last you saw of her, she was fleeing into the forest just north of your position. Half the party are unconscious. The fighter is badly beaten and the wizard is dead, crushed under the now dead Rex. What are you doing? I suggest as we know what direction she went in, we rest up for now, get our strength back, and then plan a course of action. Fuck that, we should go charging after her and leave the weak behind. Just how much health do you have left? That's not important. How much, Donald? Two HP. I, I, I punched Kramen the fighter on the side of the head. Your punch has knocked out the fighter. You all suck. As you lay there, Donald, you see a figure wandering over towards you, playing a lute. A small rabbit-like figure approaches, humming a tune. Good day, fellow travelers. You look a little worse for wear. Perhaps I can be of assistance. I use healing word on the players that are unconscious. Thank you, kind rabbit. I am Batista. This is Kramen, Boudica, and Armand. We are on a mission to take out a goblin group which have been destroying the capital's farmlands. After resting up, we will be pursuing one of their chief goblins into the forest. We could do with your healing abilities on this journey. Will you accompany us? I have no interest in the troubles of the capital. However, my home is past the forest, so I shall accompany you on the way. Very well, DM. We will rest for now if it is okay with you. As you wish, your party has a long rest in the semi-destroyed tavern. The staff inside have evacuated during the battle, so you have free reign of what is left of the building. I'd like to check inside the tavern. I'm gonna search the saddle of the T-Rex and see if there's anything of use. Give me an investigation check. I got a 17. 14. You find three food ration packs, 20 gold pieces, and a potion of healing. Sweet. Joe, you find 30 gold pieces behind the bar and a plus one dagger. Nice. The following day, after a long rest, you make your way into the forest. Although it is a new day, within minutes of walking into the forest, the sun is almost instantly blocked out, putting you into semi-darkness, the odd ray of light piercing through the trees. K-1, 
casting almond-shaped shadows that disappear as quickly as they form. You all have the sense of being watched. You walk on for a few hours, listening out for anything, but the forest is eerily silent, as if someone or something has frightened everything away. I need you all to make perception checks. Eight. Dirty 20. 19. Three. Nat 20. Trump and Biden, you fail to notice something wrapping itself around your legs, and you are both hoisted into the air. You are both high up in the trees, hanging upside down. The rest of you notice thick vines twisting around your legs. What do you do? I slice at mine with my two hand axes. I slash at mine with my longsword. I cast a mage hand to rip the vine off. You three successfully break free from the vines. The ground begins to shake and the trees ahead of you begin to bend as if being pushed aside, causing sunlight to spill in from above, allowing you to see clearly what lies ahead of you. You feel a wave of fear as it looks down on you all. Prepare for battle. What the hell is that? Walking on two legs towards you all is a 30-foot tree. Now's the time we work as a team. It uses its massive arms to push the trees aside with ease. We can do this, guys. Stand and fight. Every step it takes shakes the ground. Oh, man, this is scary. Kramen, let's have each other's back. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm with you this time, Armin. I'll cut them. You burn them. There is a face in front center of the trunk. Twisted and judgmental, it stops several feet away from you. It is a young Greta Trent. Don't you mean Great Trent? No. How dare you enter my forest? You're ruining the environment. You're ruining my perfect hair. No one messes with the dew. I'm going to cut us down from here, and then I'm going to turn that talking twig into firewood. Donald, Joe. As you're upside down, you'll need to roll constitution, save successfully, before you can take any actions. Four. This is bullshit. Seventeen noise. Donald, what are you doing? I'm cutting the vines holding me. I don't think that's a wise idea, Kramer. What? You're worried it's going to piss off this wooden hippie? I was going to say it's a pretty high drop. You may not make the fall. Then what the fuck are we meant to do up here? Make small talk? You will stay up there and become one with nature, as will your friend. Making a lot of assumptions there. Boudicca, you're a druid. But can't you reason with this creature? Worth a shot? Guys, hold your actions for now. Give us a chance to talk to it. Sounds good to me. Fine, but don't leave me up here with Armin. I don't want his face to be the last thing I see. I step forward, putting my axes down as I do, and speak to the Trant. Oh, mighty Trant, I am Boudicca, the Prince of Hemdwell, druid and friend of nature. We humbly request peaceful travel through your forest. Roll a persuasion check. Fifteen. There is already too much damage done to my beloved forest. Why should I allow more disgusting criminals through, druid? More criminals? We are not criminals. Oh, Greta Trent, we have been quested to seek out goblins that are destroying the capital's farmland. Many innocent people will suffer, and one of the chief goblins came through here less than a day ago. Goblins? Like the one that hangs in the air? Oh, shit. He is with us. He's of no danger to your forest. Please let us pass. We would be in your debt. One more time, Rogan. Nat 20, let's fucking go. The treant stares at you for a moment, contemplating what you said. Very well, Druid. I shall let you and your friends pass. We are not friends. But only if you take care of something for me first. Our heart of the forest was stolen from us. It is an ancient and sacred relic of the Trents. Retrieve the relic and return it to me, and I shall permit you safe passage. Bring me the head of the scum who stole it, and I shall bestow upon you a great gift of my people. What do we think, guys? It seems we may not have much of a choice. If we refuse, we could anger the Greta Trent more and could risk fighting her with two of our players unusable. And I don't like those odds. It might only be a small detour. Perhaps we could ask it to check with the trees and find out where the Clinton Goblin went while we do this, so we'll know where to go afterwards. That's a good idea. What about you two? Let's just get this over with so we can move on already. Then I can stop hanging like a damn bat. Yeah, we're Batman. No, we're not. We could be a crime-fighting duo that sucks blood. Get me the fuck down from here!
mighty Greta Trent. We accept your task. We shall go and retrieve your relic for safe passage through your forest. The Trent waves an arm and both Armin and Kramen are lowered to the floor. I shall take you part of the way to where the thief has gone into hiding. There, I will wait for your return. If you know where the thief is, why can't you go yourself and get it? How dare you? If I could have gone, do you think I'd ask the likes of you? How dare you? Dude, dude shut the fuck up. We got this. Forgive our companion. He is new to our group. Where are we going? Follow me. The treant turns and begins walking away. You all follow behind. Some time passes and the trees clear to a large opening, a wide pit, some two miles wide and so deep you cannot see the bottom. Ahead of you in the center stands a rock formation with a temple-like structure on top. A single wooden bridge connects the edge of the rocks to the forest clearing. The treant stops walking. Behold, the temple of Bisturd. The thief was last seen running into it. Thank you, kind, wise Greta Trent. We will return with your relic. While we are gone, could you perhaps ask your trees to search for the goblin chief we are pursuing? I will ask them. Now go. Okay, DM, we will cross the bridge. Very well. You all begin walking slowly across the wooden bridge. It sways slightly due to the combined weight and the crosswinds. Give me a perception check. 15. 17. 2. 14. 19. Obama, your foot breaks through a plank of wood. Give me a dexterity saving throw. Oh no, it's a four. You stumble and fall over the edge. I try to catch his hand. Roll me a dex saving throw quick. Shit, it's a four. Someone grab him. I got a fucking two. I got a nat one. Batista plummets. No! I cast Mage Hand. The Mage Hand grabs Batista as he plummets, bringing him back up to the bridge. Woohoo! Fuck yes. Way to go, dude. Lucky the rabbit was here to help. We thought we lost you there, man. Not gonna lie, that scared the shit out of me. I'm okay, guys. Thank you, Volantis. I owe you my life. Good to have you back, Batista. Now let's get over this bridge. Very slowly, you edge your way across until you reach solid ground. You stand before an ancient looking temple. The front entrance appears to be open. I turn to the group. Are you ready? I'm ready for anything. I won't let you guys down. If we work together, we'll handle anything that's inside here. Let's fucking do this. Dungeon Master, we go inside the temple. This still doesn't make us friends, you know. Hey everyone, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch these videos. We really appreciate it. This series has been a lot of fun to make, but all good things come to an end eventually. So with that being said, the next episode will be the final one. However, it's gonna be a big one. So it's going to take some time to put together. We've been reading all your comments and suggestions, and we will be working on it, adding as many as we can in, into this final episode. Again, thank you for your support. The AI characters will be making appearances in future projects, but President D&D Fate of the Vote will be ending once the final episode airs. Keep sending your suggestions as it helps fuel the creativity. And I got to go work on my story about the frogs. See you in a few weeks.